Businesses in Colorado Springs are on high alert for Ebola. We learned today Memorial Hospital's entire clinical staff is now undergoing special training to treat Ebola cases should they happen here. Garrity on News Channel 13's Eric Fink checked in with Memorial Hospital. Inside Memorial Hospital, the staff says it's ready to treat Ebola patients if and when that time comes. This is the room doctors and nurses must enter to gear up. The procedure requires two of them to go in together. The buddy system, for example, making sure we have two nurses or two healthcare workers watching each other, put on the, the equipment, take it off to make sure there's no breaches in personal protective equipment, that we're not inadvertently touching our faces where the, the disease, if it's on our hands, could be transmitted. The training to take on and take off the protective gear may take just about an hour, but Director Dunseth Rosenbaum says a full training for doctors and nurses to combat Ebola may take up to two weeks. Every clinical worker at Memorial must go through hazmat training when they're hired. They go through an eight hour hazmat training. That is just part of their orientation program. They get that within the first year of hire. In addition, every year there's refresher training. So just baseline knowledge, they have that coming into the picture. But this training for Ebola goes well beyond that. We want everybody to go through the, the steps and the routine to make it feel comfortable so that, that when and if, with, if and when we have a patient that comes in, we are prepared and everyone feels that they've um, had some training and education. That was Eric Fink reporting. Doctors say the risk of Ebola coming to Colorado is still extremely low. And that said, Memorial is ready to implement any new guidelines and protocols that may come from the CDC in the coming days and weeks. Let's get you over to Rachel.